of acting is that you get to do different things and explore different worlds. It's very rare that anybody uh, finds themselves uh, living in the same world for nine, going on ten years. But but it's also a, a blessing, you know. So I'm I'm happy to be enjoying this while it lasts. But I'm also excited to move on to the to the next thing. So we'll see. There were rumors some weeks ago regarding a potential CSI movie. Mm -hmm. uh, did you hear about that? It, what uh, did you do? You think uh, it could work? Uh, they, they've talked about doing a CSI movie for a long time. I mean, it, it, it makes sense with Jerry Bruckheimer being uh, our producer. Um, he's he's got a knack for making some pretty spectacular blockbusters. But I think uh, Jerry's uh, mission is to come up with a good story first, and if they have the right story, then they can combine it with the world of CSI and. And turn it into a movie. I know William Peterson's very excited about it and he's been talking about it in the press and although I know that there have been meetings that have taken place between the producers and the network, um, I, I can't speak to anything more than just that. I mean, there, there, there have definitely been conversations but they're not going to move forward with it unless they have a good story. But it would be fun. <laughs> I mean, you know, Lots of explosions and car chases, <laughs> things that we can't afford, you know, on a TV show. Are you as, as crazy as Greg is? <laughs> because he's just crazy. <laughs> I well, you know, I I, I find the lines between uh, myself and Greg are are kind of blurred, you know, and I think that's kind of what happens when you work on a series for a long time that you. You um, try to make the character as, as much like yourself as possible, but also because that's what I was instructed to do by the casting directors when I auditioned for it. That I kind of, I kind of, you know, established this character that that um, I want to be consistent with, and, and that character was, you know, very similar to me in the beginning. And I think the two have kind of like merged together over the years. Um, I, I kind of think of Greg as my, myself if I had just taken a different path in life and you know, maybe um, decided you know, to stay away from performing and, and, and move into you know, more of the science field. But, you know, I mean, if, if, if Greg is crazy, then I guess that makes me crazy too because I, I created Greg. <laughs> Are you still involved uh, in uh, Eurostar, the internet uh, radio station from uh, Clear Channel? Yes. And yeah. uh, in which way? Um, I am the executive director of an internet radio station called Eurostar. I worked for BMG for five years when I was uh, first out in California and going through acting school. And one of my old colleagues became an executive for Clear Channel and asked me if I would be interested in starting up an internet radio station with my producing partner and both my partner and I have a deep appreciation for music and also saw uh, a, a, a big uh, lacking in uh, or a big gap in, in commercial radio and, and just the, um, the broadcasting system in, in, in general and so we we took full advantage of the opportunity to create an internet radio station that we would listen to and now they've launched a, an iPhone application so you can hear our station 24 hours a day, seven days a week without commercials and without uh, DJ interruptions, just with good music with a very deep playlist of over 5,000 songs that is constantly evolving. So between me and my, my, my business partner and our program director, the three of us program the station uh, 365 days a year. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I, I get to discover a lot of new music and also share music that I found with other people. And I get to go to a lot of concerts and you know, we get tickets to go check out shows. And I've um, actually done a lot of interviews um, with bands that I love, which you can find online. And you know, we did them kind of as little commercials for the radio station. And I, I've got to interview bands like uh, The Faint and uh, M83, who is from France. If you guys know M83, but you should check it out. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's just allowed me the opportunity to to share my love of music with other people. 
And how do you keep balance between these two careers uh, of yours as an Well, actor? luckily for me, my office for the radio station is about a mile from the studio where we shoot CSI. So on days when there, there's a big break in between scenes, I can go to the office and take care of some work. Um, but uh, I, I also share the responsibilities on the show with with the rest of the cast. You know, so we don't we don't um, we don't work more than you know a few days a week sometimes. So I, I have plenty of free time and I don't I don't like to sit around and be bored so I find myself uh, creating these other things for myself to do to keep my mind occupied and to find new outlets for creativity. You, you said earlier that you created a show before CSI started. Would you be interested in writing or even directing an episode in CSI? Because a lot of actors mm. are doing this when the show is going on for years. Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, one. I, I've learned a lot from being on the show and, and uh, from watching uh, William Peterson and, and how how he made his uh, debut in television as a producer. Um, I think was was a brilliant way to retain some type of creative control, and that's one thing I would like to do with with my next project. I mean, I'd like to be more involved in the making of it rather than uh, just as a player, which I you know kind of feel like with CSI, which has been nice because it's such a huge you know, entity that um, I, I I like being kind of removed from the, the business side of things and, and just being able to do the fun part, which is acting. But with the next thing, I like to be more involved in the creation of, of the, you know, the, the, the show itself. Um, and directing is definitely something I like to do, and I dabble in writing. Um, but you know, having spent, you know, the uh, 205 episodes, you know, on set, I've picked up a f few things, you know, and and I, I'd like to think that um, I, I I have enough uh, uh, knowledge base to you know start playing around with directing. So I I, I actually have a, a production company with with my friend, and we, we make online videos. So it's sometimes you know they're interview videos with bands, but we also do comedy videos, and we're we're about to produce a web comedy series, uh, which. I'm very excited about, but will also you know give me a chance to kind of experiment with uh, a new medium and uh, and you know with new responsibilities, new skill set. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank All you right. Much. Thank you. Thank you.